Hi there handbaggers and welcome to the duck's nest. This is the military mom and in this video I am going to be wrapping up my seven day bag challenge. But before I get started um, I just wanted to let you all know that I am apologizing right off the bat for the lighting. The lighting in here is awful. The lighting in the blue room was awful. I, I have to work on the lighting. The second thing is I have the windows open so I may have to pause for road noise so just wanted to let you know that all right I am going to recap my understanding of the seven day bag challenge it was initiated by the handbagger determined to be I had never visited her channel before however she tagged LV Lux girl whose channel I had visited and LV Lux girl um, tagged me so as we were wrapping up, I was watching uh, other handbaggers wrap up videos and realized that there were questions. So I went over and visited Determined to Be's channel and I got the four questions. I wrote them down so I may be referring to my notes. And yeah, that's it. Carry the same bag for seven straight days and then come back and give your thoughts on these questions. All right, let me start with the bag. And it is this one, my little Dooney and Burke satchel. And the first question is, what have I learned about myself? Well, I don't know if I learned anything about myself, but what did come into more clear focus was my handbag personality and that is that I'm a satchel girl um, and specifically I like long shallow satchels with a wide base or a somewhat wide base and I'm going to give you an example by going from some smaller satchels that I have to um, some larger satchels. So this is probably, the bag that I chose to carry is probably the smallest satchel that I have. Um, this I recently unboxed or revealed on my channel. This is not technically a satchel. They call this a convertible tote, but to me, it's a satchel. This is another one along the same lines as a north south satchel um this is my what is this this is a coach mini tanner it's the mini tanner with the perforations of course that drew me in and then the pocket on the back so those are some of my smaller satchels my medium sized satchels well no i have one more small satchel um this is my Marquesa. And for those of you who know, you will know that this is a Dooney and Burke satchel. Um, this is a great little satchel. And this is the only indication on the exterior that it is Dooney and Burke, is that little plaque right there. Again, long, shallow, and the base is not wide, but I think you get the gist of what I'm referring to. A medium sized satchel would be my Brahmin Mini Asher. Long, not too deep, with a small or smaller base. And then the largest satchels that I'm pretty sure that I have, I don't think I have any satchels that are larger than this. Um, of course, my Coach Rogue, and this is my Coach Molly satchel. And let me show you the bases on these. Everybody knows about the base on the Rogue. I'm not so sure about the Molly, but there's the Molly. So this is probably like the largest satchel that I am comfortable carrying. I'm not comfortable carrying a really big 
satchel. So that is what I learned is that my handbag personality is long, shallow, and let me show you why I like a shallow satchel. For instance, in the Marquesa, yeah, you can just open it and you can pretty much see everything in your bag. It's not deep. It's, it's just all right there, right? The same with the Mini Asher. It's just all, you know, you don't have to dig around. You don't have to move stuff. It's just all right there. So that is the answer to the first question. The answer to the second question, what did I learn or realize during the challenge about the bag that I chose? Um, what I realized um, is that this is a great little satchel. I mean, it really is. I have compartments here, I have compartments here. I have, in this compartment, I have a notepad and a pen. And then this compartment, I have my toilet seat cover and antibacterial wipes. And the interior holds everything else, which is, let me show you how I use this little cell phone case. I put lip gloss and a pocket back in here. So that was a great little area to carry those because this is a mini satchel and I have my mini cosmetic case and um, there's just so much you can put in this thing. So the slip pocket here held Kleenex and receipts and it was great because it's just a slip pocket. I never put anything in this little zip pocket, never used it. And then the rest of my items, you can see my wallet and my glasses case and my keys. The one thing that I wish about the bag that I carried is that it didn't have these magnetic snaps because if you look, believe it or not, this is just like my robe. This bag is set up just like my robe and I love the fact that it is so easy to reach into the open compartments on the robe. And I wish that this little bag hadn't had the magnetic snaps and just open pockets. So that's what I realized about the bag that I carried. Um, let's see, going on to the third question. What challenges did I face? Um, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it 100, y'all. The challenge that I faced, and I think I mentioned this in another video, the challenge I faced was when I went to the restroom. I do not place my bag on any surface in a restroom. The little um, shelves that they have over the commode, I mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, can't do it. <laughs> I have been known when I have a tote or a crossbody to put it around my neck. I can't, I just can't do it. So that was a little bit of a challenge um, in the ladies' room, all right? So now let me talk about the advantages. I'm gonna flip the challenge around and talk about the advantages. The advantages of carrying this bag for seven days or any bag for seven days is that you all, I didn't have to think about it. I put my stuff in the bag on day one, regardless of the outfit, regardless of where I was going, regardless of my activities. It was this bag, so it was great. So the challenge was the restroom, but the advantage is for seven days, I didn't have to think about the handbag that I was going to carry, which was really actually kind of nice. All right, so the fourth question is, did I have any aha moments? And my definition, of an aha moment is when reality comes clearly into focus. And, and what came clearly into focus for me was that I should have bought a Rogue 25. Yes, I should have. The, the Rogue 25 
Oh my gosh, we just washed out totally, didn't we? Okay, the Rogue 25 is probably, I'm, I'm guessing a little bit larger than this bag. I have six Rogues. I, all of them are in the 30 size. None of them are in the 25 because when I went to the boutique to try out the 25 size, I determined that it was not going to hold what I needed it to hold. However, at the time, I was carrying my Coach Crosby snakeskin wristlet. And that snakeskin wristlet would not fit in the 25. It would only fit in the 30. However, I have since migrated to this little card case as a wallet. And this little card case, I'm sure will fit nicely into the Rogue 25. So my aha moment is, dang, I should have bought a 25. <laughs> and I still might buy a 25, but right now, not right now, not right now. I, I just have way too many bags. And if I buy a 25, it's just going to be another bag that I'm going to promise myself that I'm going to carry and probably won't. But yeah, I don't know. That, that's going to be down the line. So that was it for the challenge. I thank LV Lux Girl for tagging me. I thank Determined to Be for creating the challenge. I really, really enjoyed it because like I said, for seven days, I didn't have to think about my handbags. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duck's Nest. And as always, happy carrying.